Hi everyone. We're going to do the variance of an n-sided die. Basically, we're going to create the formula for a, a n any <laughs> n-sided die. Um, basically, the variance of the n-sided die proof. What's that formula look like? First, we need to have the uh, variance of a random variable general form, and it looks like this: the expectation of the uh, deviations of the mean squared. Now, we can expand that to a binomial, which gives you x squared minus 2x mu mu squared. And then what we can do is we can separate the expectations. Um, it's one of these properties where you have the expectations of x squared, you have minus the expectation of 2x mu, and then the expectations of um, mu squared. There's a few things that we can simplify this. Uh, the x squared, the expectation of x squared is the same, but we can pull out the constant 2 and mu because those are numbers, and we have the expectation of, of x. Now, the expectation of x is just mu. Um, anytime you see this, right, not this, not the square, but when you see, um, you know, the, expect, uh, the expectation of x, just think of mu, um, you know, the population mean. Okay, and then the expectation of, uh, of a constant squared is that value. So it's mu squared is, mu squared is a constant in this case. Okay, so we have this. What can we do with that? Well, we find that the expectation of x is really just another mu, and now we can collect the terms. And now we have something that's a little more um, usable. Uh, we have negative 2 mu squared plus mu squared, and we can subtract that, and then we have this general form. Now, mu squared can be changed into the expectation of x and, and such that we can rewrite it in a form that you probably have seen before. So we have the variance, right, of, um, how do you find the variance? The expectation of x squared, take away the um, expectation of x quantity squared. Now, of course, this could be also written as the variance of x. Um, either way, uh, this is kind of like a general form that I think some of us have seen, especially if you've taken like a 300 level uh, statistics course or math course, maybe. All right, let's continue on. So this is where, um, oh, by the way, this is a very general form also, a general form of the expectation of a, of a random variable. This, is, this whole thing has nothing to do with the n-sided die. Um, the next part is, of course, so we're using this um, definition and we're going to cut it into two pieces. This here, uh, you, you might have seen my other video, the expected, the expected value of n-sided die. I'm going to do it again. Um, here, this here is very important. This uh, tells us the probability of one side of the die. And of course, the die is equally likely. So you have 1 over n, n sides of the die. Remember, it's a die, not, not dice. Okay, so let's look at um, the expectation of x squared. And that can be rewritten um, to this, where it's you're squaring the values, and then you're multiplying the probabilities of that. Um, so this is just the beginning. Remember, we're only doing this part right now, and then we'll do this part later. 
But right now we're focused on this part and the way we need to um, change its form so that we can introduce our probability. Um, okay, so what is this? Let's, um, let's populate one over n. So for every single data value, right? Here's one value. Here's the second value, third value, up to the nth value. And this is the uh, probability for each uh, value, right? Um, and so is there a way to break this down? Yes. You can uh, factor out 1 over n, and you have now the a series and there is a way there's 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 a way to convert this series into this formula here <laughs> that's pretty crazy right uh it would be nice to know where that six comes from uh so this whole thing here this series can be converted into one nice conversion so we substitute the series uh, into this, well, we substitute the series into that formula. All right, now that looks a lot more manageable. We can easily now um, get rid of the ends and then clean it up a little bit. And we're done now with this. This um, expectation of x squared is that. We're done with that. Now let's do the um, expectation of x quantity squared. And that's when you you've probably you might have seen the video for that. So let's um, let's go over here. Hold on. Here. So this right here, the expected value of x can be broken down into x times uh, p of x. Now, um, you know, I'm, I'm being a little bit lazy here, but we're taking each element, right, and multiplying its probability, right, for my equals 1 to n. So, um, I'm not doing that. We're assuming we, we can do that. We understand that. So, we... Um, this uh, generalizes the n-sided die, right? We have our first random variable, or our first, um, um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it gets a little bit kind of um, weird, but it is uh, a random variable uh, with its uh, probability, its next the next random variable and its probability and so forth. Now, um, and of course this goes on forever, and we can, um, we can um, factor out a 1 over n, and we have this series right here. Now, we know that the sum of x, believe it or not, has, you know, we, it converges into this formula. Pretty crazy, but it does. So that's, that's very necessary. And so we substitute. We substitute this series with this uh, formula, and we have this, and we can cancel out n's, and we have mm, something really, really um, complete and nice. Incredible, isn't it? Um, if you look over here, we have a sum of infinite number of items, and it converges to this formula. That's incredible. And here's another sum that can go on forever, but apparently it converges to this. Now, of course, your die is not infinite, but it could be. And the thing is, your die will have six sides, seven sides, ten sides, and these these will work. So if you're looking for the average, 
or the expected value of a die, this is it right here. But we're looking for the variance. Okay, so let's keep going. So here's the here's the general form. We've substituted um, a more finite um, set of formulas uh, for our die. Now we need to rearrange this, some algebra to clean it up. So I'm going to expand the n plus 1 and make sure this 2 becomes a 4 because we have a squared. And then we will, you know, multiply this out, you know, quote unquote foil. I know that's not a cool term these days, but it is. And then we'll do another, we'll multiply this out as well. And as you can see, we have a 6 and a 4, but that's not a big deal. Let's clean up the numerator here. Uh, so we're going to add n and n plus 2, and then we bring along the rest. As you can see, we have 6 and 4. we got to figure out a common denominator. So how about multiplying by 2 over 2 and then 3 over 3? And then multiplying it out, multiplying this 2 on the top and the bottom, and multiplying the 3 on the top and the bottom. And then we clean this up. We add the um, numerators, and don't forget this is subtraction. It distributes on the top, and that's what we're going to do. And I think that looks good, very good. And then we clean it up. Right? And then we get an incredible formula. Wow. For the variance, for any, any sided die, that's the formula. Right? So the variance for n sided die is as following. That's crazy. <laughs> but it's true. Now, um, that's the end of this, but let's see if it really works. Let's go over here. Let's go with uh, a four-sided die. So you have a die that's four sides, and uh, you know you have side one, side two, side three, side four, and then each side has its probability. Okay, so we have uh, this generalized formula, and don't forget that this can be the expected value of x quantity squared, can be that. All right, let's keep going. So mu, mu is equal to the sum of x times p of x, and if you multiply it out, we get 5 over 2, right? So what's the expected value of this probability distribution table? And that's another video that you could watch to, to show you how to do that. But multiply, 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 and you add. That's the expected value, okay? This whole thing can be the expected value of the random variable, of the random variable of this die, right? These are all x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, right? We can say that the random variable x is equal to the side of the die. And thus, this is that. Fortunately, sometimes we get a little sloppy in defining these things. But you get the point. So it's mu is equal to 5 over 2. All right. So with our formula, is that true? Yes, here, let's go over here, right? We, well, there is a expected value of n-sided die. There's a shortcut formula. And when we pop in 4, we get 5 over 2, which is the same 5 over 2. So instead of doing multiplying this out for this particular case of, of an n-sided die, we, can, we have a shortcut. And thus, 
we have an answer of five or two. So that that's cool. And we, again, if you watch the uh, proof of the expected value of an n-sided dime, we know that's correct. But I did this because we need this piece. Now let's do this piece. And so let's put it all together. And so we, this part right here is the expectation of x squared, meaning this is x, and so there should be another column x squared. So that's going to be 1, 4, 9, and 16 because I'm squaring it. And so we need to find the expectation of x squared. And so we're multiplying this with a fourth and four, with a fourth and so forth. It's kind of weird, um, but you get used to it after a while. So that's that's what this is. And to do the math, we have to break it up. So we square the number and multiply it by the probability. And that's what I'm going to do. One squared times a quarter plus two squared and a quarter and so forth. And then this last part is mu squared is this answer that we got, but we're going to square it because our formula tells us, right? Our formula tells us the formula here. And again, like I said, it could be the variance is the expectation of x squared minus the expectation of x quantity squared, where the expected value of x is mu, right? And of course, mu is this that we just calculated. Um, yes. Why is there so many symbols for telling you the same thing? Probably his probably some type of historical um, consequence. But anyway, now let's fill this out. Do the math, right? Multiply it out, and all this becomes 7.5. We have a subtraction. It's right there. We multiply this out. We will get there. Or you can use your calculator. And then we get an answer of 1.25. So the variance of this probability distribution table or the variance of an N, of a N equal 4 die or 4 sided die, the variance is 1.25. And if we use our formula, the one that we just developed, right, to, to prove in a generalized form of the variance of an n-sided die, right, where n is equal to 4. Let's see if that works. Sure it does. <laughs> 4 squared, take away 1 divided by 12. That's going to be 16 minus 1 over 12, 15 over 12, which is 1.25. That's pretty neat. And yes, that was kind of long. Um, and, there's, and there's more to it. Um, uh, so the whole idea here uh, is that there is a generalized form right here. And we move forward with this generalized form with the probabilities that you are considering. And a lot of times, uh, instead of this probability, we use a function or something more advanced mathematics, and then we can figure out, you know, the variances of certain distributions, uh, which is which can get into very crazy math. But hopefully, that gives you oops, it gives you a sense of what the uh, proof is for the n-sided die, uh, the variance for an n-sided die.